Yakshagana, Kannada, Yakshagana Tulu, Ada. Malayalam, Yaksaganam is a traditional theatre form, developed in Udupi, in the state of Karnataka India, that combines dance, music, dialogue, costume, makeup, and stage techniques with a unique style and form. It is believed to have evolved from pre-classical music and theatre during the period of the Bhakti movement. It is sometimes simply called the play Atta in Tulu language. Yakshagana is strongly influenced by the Vaishnava Bhakti movement. This theatre style is mainly found in most parts of Karnataka in various forms. Yakshagana is traditionally presented from dusk to dawn. Its stories are drawn from Ramayana, Mahabharata, Bhagavata and other epics from both Hindu and Jain and other ancient Indic traditions. Etymology <inaudible> 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 Yakshagana literally means the song Gana of the Yaksha nature spirits. Yakshagana is the scholastic name used for the last 200 years for art forms formerly known as Kalike, Atta, Bayalata, and Dasavatara. The word Yakshagana previously referred to a form of literature in Kannada and even now in Telugu. Performance of this Yakshagana literature or the play is called Atta. It is now no longer believed that the word Ekalagana refers to Yakshagana. <laughs> <laughs> Music genre Yakshagana has a separate tradition of music, separate from Karnataka Sangeetha and the Hindustani music of India. Yakshagan and Karnatak Sangeetha may have a common ancestor or not decedents of one another. A typical Yakshagana performance consists of background music played by a group of musicians known as the Himala, and a dance and dialogue group known as the Mamala, who together enact poetic epics on stage. The Himala is made up of a lead singer, Bhagavata who also directs the production and is referred to as the first actor Modalane Vesha additional Himala members are players of traditional musical instruments such as the madale hand drum the pungi pipe the harmonium organ and the chand loud drums the music is based on ragas, which are characterized by rhythmic patterns called matu and tala or musical meter in Western music. A yakshagana performance typically begins in the twilight hours, with an initial beating of the drums of several fixed compositions, called a bara or pitik. This may last for up to an hour before the actors finally arrive on the stage. The actors wear resplendent costumes, head dresses, and face paints. A performance usually depicts a story from the Kavya epic poems and the Puranas ancient Hindu texts. It consists of a storyteller, the Bhagavatha, who narrates the story by singing, which includes prepared character dialogues as the actors dance to the music, portraying elements of the story as it is being narrated. All components of Yakshagana, including the music, the dance, and the dialogue, are improvised. Depending on the ability and scholarship of the actors, there will be variations in dances as well as the amount of dialogue. It is not uncommon for actors to get into philosophical debates or arguments without falling out of character. The acting in Yakshagana can be best categorized as method acting. The performances have drawn comparison to the Western tradition of opera. Traditionally, Yakshagana will run all night. 
Yakshagana is popular in the districts of Dakshina Kannada, Kasaragod, Udupi, Uttara Kannada, and Shimoga. Yakshagana has become popular in Bengaluru in recent years, particularly in the rainy season, when there are few other forms of entertainment possible in the coastal districts. History Topic origins Yakshagana can refer to a style of writing, as well as the written material itself. It was probably used for poems enacted in Bayalata or open theatre drama, such as the ballads of Koti and Chenaya. Yakshagana in its present form is believed to have been strongly influenced by the Vaishnava Bhakti movement. Yakshagana was first introduced in Udupi by Madhvacharya's disciple Naraharatartha. Naraharatartha was the minister in the Kalinga kingdom. He also was the founder of Kuchipudi. The first written evidence regarding Yakshagana is found on an inscription at the Lakshminarayana temple in Kuragodu, Samasamudra, Bellary district, and is dated 1556 CE. A copy is available at the University of Madras. The inscription mentions land donated to the performers of the art, so as to enable people to enjoy Tala Madale programs at the temple. Another important piece of evidence is available in the form of a poem authored by Ahapura Vishnu, the Virata Parva, inscribed on a palm leaf found at Ahapura present-day Brahmavara. Another historic palm leaf manuscript, dated 1621 CE, describes Sabalakshana. Yakshagana bears some resemblance to other members of the traditional theatre family, Ankhya Nata found in Assam, Jothra in Bengal, Chow Bihar, Bengal, Pralada Nata Orissa, Vidhanatakam and Chindu Andhra, Tarukuthu Bhagavathamela Tamil Nadu, and Kathakal Kerala. However, some researchers have argued that Yakshagana is markedly different from this group. Experts have placed the origin of Yakshagana somewhere in the period of the 11th to 16th centuries CE. Yakshagana was an established performance art form by the time of the noted Yakshagana poet, Parthi Subha. C. 1600. His father, Venkata, is attributed by some to be the author of the great Hindu epic, Ramayana, although historian Shivram Karanth counters these claims made most notably by historians Mulia Thimapa and Govinda Pai and argues that it is Subha, who was in fact its author. Venkata is the probable founder of the Tenkuthita southern style of the art. Troop centers, such as Kudlu and Kumbala in the Kasaragod district, and Amrathashwari, Kota near Kundapura, claim to have had troops three to four centuries ago, indicating that the art form almost certainly had begun to take shape by circa 1500. The Yakshagana form of today is the result of a slow evolution, drawing its elements from ritual theatre, temple arts, secular arts such as Bahurupi, royal courts of the past, and the artists' imaginations, all interwoven over a period of several hundred years. <laughs> Early poets Early Yakshagana poets included Ahapura Vishnu, Parandaradasa, Parthi Subha, and Nagir Subha. King Kantirava Narasaraja Wodyar II authored fourteen Yakshaganas in various languages in the Kannada script. Mamadi Krishnaraja Wodyar (1794–1868) also wrote several Yakshagana prasanga, including Sugandika Paranaya. 
Noted poet, Mudana, composed several Yakshagana prasangasa, including the very popular Rathnavathi Kalyana. Evolution <inaudible> 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 In the 19th century, Yakshagana began to move away from the strict traditional forms. Practitioners of the day produced a number of new compositions. Also, a large number of troops arose across coastal Karnataka. The early 20th century saw the birth of tent troops, giving performances to audiences made up of common people who were admitted by ticket. These troops were responsible for the commercialization of Yakshagana. The genre saw major changes in form and organization. Electrical lights replaced the gas lights, seating arrangements improved, the inclusion of folk epics, Sanskrit dramas, and fictional stories formed the modern thematic base of the discipline. Popular entertainment became the criterion, replacing the historic classical presentations. Tulu, the language of the southern part of the DK and Udupi districts was introduced, increasing popularity with the common people. At this time, writer Kota Shivram Karanth, experimented with the dance form by introducing Western musical instrumentation. He reduced the time of a Yakshagana performances from 12 hours to under 3 hours, incorporated movie plot lines, and added Shakespearean themes. Today, female artists perform in Yakshagana shows. <laughs> Parallel forms Yakshagana is related to other performance art forms prevalent in other parts of Karnataka and the neighboring states of Andhra Pradesh, Kerala, Tamil Nadu and Maharashtra. Yakshagana defies simple classification into categories such as folk, classical, or rural. It can be included in each or all of these, depending upon the rules used for classification. It is more varied and dynamic than most dance forms. Yakshagana can, however, be classified as one of many traditional dance forms. While it prevails primarily in the coastal areas of Karnataka, other dance forms such as Dadeta are today often called by the same name. Several forms of traditional theater, Mutalpaya of southern Karnataka, Dadeta of northern Karnataka, Kalike on the border with Andhra Pradesh, and Gatadakur of Koligal, in the Chamarajnagar district, may be included in this category. Among them, the Gatadakur is a direct branch of the coastal form of Yakshagana, while Mudalapaya is the most closely connected form. <laughs> <laughs> Yakshaganamu in Andhra Pradesh there is a form called Yakshaganamu in Andhra Pradesh, which exhibits some resemblance to the Yakshagana forms of the Karnataka Plateau region and is less sophisticated as a visual art. Variations and subgenres Scholars have classified Yakshagana broadly into several types. Mudalopaya Yakshagana, includes eastern areas of Karnataka such as Chanarayapatna and Arsikire Taliks of the Hassan district, Nagamangala Talik of the Mandya district, Turavekari Talik of the Tumkur district, Hiriuru, Chalakari of Chitradurga district and North Karnataka. Paduvlopaya Yakshagana comprises the western parts of extended Karnataka including Kasaragad Dakshina Kannada, Udupi and Uttara Kannada. 
Tenkudatu includes areas Kasaragad, Kerala, Mangalore District, Udupi, Sampahe, Sulaya, Puttur, Bantwala, Belthangadi, Karkala, etc. Badagudatu Udupi to Kundapura area, Uttara Kannada District. Badabadagudatu, Uttara Kannadatu, extreme north parts of Uttara Kannada. Topic: Tenkudatu. One of the traditional variations, the Tenkudatu style, is prevalent in Dakshina Kannada, Kasaragod district, western parts of Korg Sampahe, and few areas of Udupi district. The influence of Carnatic music is apparent in Tenkudatu, as evidenced by the type of madale used and in Bhagavathike. Yakshagana is influenced more by folk art blended with classical dance aspects. In Tenkudatu, three iconic set of colors are used, the Rajabana, the Kotbana, and the Stribana. The Himala in the Tenkudatu style is more cohesive to the entire production. Rhythms of the Chand and Madale coupled with the Chakratala and Jagate of the Bhagavatha create an excellent symphonic sound. The dance form in Tenkudatu strikes the attention of the audience by Dinjina or Guttu. Performers often do Dijinas jumping spins in the air and will continuously spin sometimes hundreds of times. Tenkudatu is noted for its incredible dance steps, its high-flying dance moves, and its extravagant rikshasas demons. Tenkudatu has remained a popular form and has its own audience outside the coastal areas. The Dharmasthala and Katilu Durgaparameshwari Milas the two most popular Milas have helped to popularize this form. Several creative Tenkudatu plays have been composed by noted scholars, such as Amritha Someshwara. <inaudible> Badagudatu The Badagudatu style is prevalent in North Kanara Uttara Kannada district and the northern parts of Udupi dist from Kundapura to Bindor. The Badagudatu school of Yakshagana places more emphasis on facial expressions, matugarike dialogues, and dances appropriate for the character depicted in the episode. It makes use of a typical Karnataka chand. The Badagudatu style was popularized by Shivram Karanth's Yakshagana Mandira, presented at Salagrama village in Dakshina Kannada as a shorter, more modern form of Yakshagana. Karamain Shivarama Hegd, the founder of the Yakshagana troupe, Idagunji Mahaganapati Yakshagana Mandali, is an exponent of the Badagudatu style of Yakshagana. He is also the first Yakshagana artist to receive the Rashtrapati Award from the President of India. He hails from the Hanavar Taluk of Uttara Kannada North Kanara district. Topic. Puppetry variant There were more than 30 string puppet troops in the undivided Dakshina Kannada district during the period 1910–1915 in places such as Basroor, Barker, Kakarne, Mudabidri. The presentation of the puppetry in Yakshagana style is highly stylized and adheres strictly to the norms and standards of Yakshagana. The puppets generally 18 inches high wear costumes similar to those worn by live actors of Yakshagana, and have the same elaborate makeup, colorful headgear, and heavy jewelry. The puppeteer is known as the Suthradhara. The content in the Yakshagana puppetry, is also mainly drawn from the ancient epics. Topic. 
Background of puppetry Yakshagana puppetry has existed for centuries. The modern form of the art, however, was largely molded by the brothers Laxman, Narasimha, and Manjapa Kamath, who hailed from Upanakudru village, Kundapur Taluk. Devana Padmanabha Kamath, the grandson of Laxman Kamath infused new life into the art and performed shows all over India. Later, Koga Devana Kamath improved this subgenre even further, being recognized with the Tulsi Salmon and Sangeet Natak Akademi Awards. His son, Bhaskar Koga Kamath, is currently performing shows while training others in the art of Yakshagana puppetry. K. V. Ramesh is a leading puppeteer from Kasaragod. He leads the Yakshagana puppet troupe Sri Gopalakrishna Yakshagana Gambayata Sangha. Ballet <inaudible> <inaudible> variant The second half of the 20th century saw experiments and adoptions of this art into other venues. One notable effort was that of Shivarama Karantha, who produced and exhibited Yakshagana ballet, using and training local artists. Some of the changes brought about by Karanth, however, attracted criticism. One legal decision even banned any public performance of his experimental ballets being billed as Yakshagana. Topic. Important components The artists pray to Lord Ganesha before their performance. Yakshagana also ends with a prayer to Ganesha. Topic. Raga Yakshagana Raga refers to melodic framework used in Yakshagana. It is based on pre-classical melodic forms that comprise a series of five or more musical notes upon which a melody is founded. Ragas in Yakshagana are closely associated with a set of melodic forms called matu. In the Yakshagana tradition, ragas are associated with different times of the night throughout which the Yakshagana is performed. Topic. Tala Yakshagana tala, Sanskrit tala are frameworks for rhythms in Yakshagana that are determined by a poetry style called Yakshagana padya. Tala also decide how a composition is to be enacted by the dancers. It is similar to tala in other forms of Indian music, but differs from them structurally. Each composition is set to one or more talas, rendered by the Himala percussion artists play. Topic: <laughs> Prasanga and literature. Yakshagana poetry, Yakshagana padya or Yakshagana prasanga, is a collection of poems written to form a music drama. The poems are composed in well-known Kannada meters, using a framework of ragas and talas. Yakshagana also has its own meter or prosody. The collection of Yakshagana poems forming a musical drama is called a prasanga. The oldest surviving parasanga books are believed to have been composed in the 15th century. But many compositions have been lost to time. There is evidence showing that oral compositions were in use before the 15th century. The narratives of the surviving historic Yakshagana prasangas are now often printed in paperback. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Costumes and ornaments. Yakshagna costumes are rich in color. 
The costumes or vesha in Kannada depend on characters depicted in the play prasanga. It also depends on the yakshagana style titu. Traditionally, badagudatu yakshagana ornaments are made out of light wood, pieces of mirror, and colored stones. Lighter materials, such as thermical, are sometimes used today, although ornaments are still predominantly made of woodwork. Yakshagana costumes consist of headgear, kirita or pagadi, kavaka that decorates the chest, buja kirthi armlets that decorate the shoulders, and belts dabu, all made up of light wood and covered with golden foil. Mirror work on these ornaments helps to reflect light during shows and add more color to the costumes. Armaments are worn on a vest and cover the upper half of the body. The lower half is covered with kachchi, which come in unique combinations of red, yellow, and orange checks. Bulky pads are used under the kachchi, making the actor's proportions different in size from normal. The character, Banada Vesha, is used to depict monsters. This often involves detailed facial makeup taking three to four hours to complete. Males play the female roles in traditional yakshagana, however, more recently, yakshagana has seen female artists, who perform in both male and female roles. The character of Sri Vesha makes use of sari and other decorative ornaments. Instruments. <inaudible> 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 Topic. Madale The madale is a percussion instrument and, along with the chand, is the primary rhythmic accompaniment in the Yakshagana ensemble. Topic. Tala bells Yakshagana bells or cymbals, are a pair of finger bells made of a special alloy traditionally five metal. They are made to fit the tone of the Bhagavatha's voice. Singers carry more than one set, as finger bells are available in different keys, thus enabling them to sing in different pitches. They help create and guide the background music in Yakshagana. Topic. Chand The chand is a drum and, along with the madale, is an important rhythmic accompaniment in the Yakshagana ensemble. Topic. Artists Over the centuries, hundreds of artists performed Yakshagana and some of them have gained star value, like, Siddhikit Chenapa Shetty, Chitani Ramachandra Hegde, Naranapa Upur, Kalinga Nevada, and Arodi Govindapa. <laughs> Training and research As most troops are associated with temples, training in the art has been confined to temple premises. The Govinda Pai Research Institute, located at MGM College, runs a Yakshagana Kalakendra in Udupi trains youngsters in this ancient dance form. It also does research work on language, rituals, and dance art forms. Srimaya Yakshagana Kalakendra, Gunavante which was founded by Sri Karamain Shambhu Hegde, is another notable Yakshagana Garukula that trains Yakshagana students. Outside India 
Yakshagana is finding new popularity outside India. Amateur troops have emerged in California, USA, and Ontario, Canada. Yakshamitra in Canada, Yakshagana Kalavrinda, Yaksharanga in the U.S. Yakshaloka Boston are a few examples of these international troops. Yakshamitra founded in 2008 in Toronto, Canada, is the first full-pledged Yakshagana Mela outside India. It is the first to use local live music Himala for their performances. The other troops usually use a recorded background Himala for their shows. Yakshaloka USA was founded in New England by Raghuram Shetty in 1995 and used recorded audio for shows. Being the first build a local Yakshagana troupe, Yakshaloka Boston, in North America and introduced Tenku Titu Southern style Yakshagana to this continent, he trained thousands of local Americans and inspired five Yakshagana troops Massachusetts, Washington, Florida, Northern and Southern California. Including shows like Sindh World Conference 2000 Aka 2002, St. Petersburg Folk Festival 2005, Irvine Global Village 2014 etc. Yakshaloka USA has showcased hundreds of multilingual shows in major theaters across USA in both styles of Yakshagana. Yakshaloka promotes vibrant ancient Indian art by creating unique shows of its own, presentations in schools and universities including world's leading acting schools in Hollywood, training kids and adults from all over the world, joining hands with visiting artists e.g., northern-style legend Chitani Ramachandra Hegde Troupe 2006, and sponsoring, facilitating leading artists e.g., Southern-style legend Dr. Puttor Sridhara Bhandari 2013. Yakshagana Kalavrinda performs on the east coast of the U.S. Yakshaloka Boston troupe has mainly the artists from Boston area and visiting artists from various parts of USA and India. The troupe has given many shows in the East Coast, Midwest, Southern USA. Yaksharanga in the USA started after the visit of Yakshagana artist, Sri Chitani Ramachandra Hegde. His performance at the age of 74 was so inspiring that art lovers decided to continue his art thousands of miles away from its home. Sri Kidayuru Ganesh, who accompanied Sri Chitani, stayed back for a couple of months to train a new generation of Yakshagana artists. The initial result was a performance of Yakshagana. Sudanvarjuna Kalaga. Hegde won the Padmashri Award in 2012 for his lifetime contribution to the art. Yaksharanga has since performed many shows around California. Yakshagana Troupe Shri Ida Gunji Mahagana Pati Yakshagana Mandali, Karamane Headed by Shri Karamane Shambhu Hegde and Shri Karamane Shivanand Hegde, toured the U.S., and performed more than 22 programs throughout North America, the troupe visited 12 countries. This troupe was one of the first few troops that took Yakshagana in its traditional form outside India referring to their performance at Hilton Hotel, Bahrain in 1983. <laughs> Mela or troops There are about 30 full-fledged professional troops, and about 200 amateur troops in Yakshagana. Professional troops go on tour between November to May, giving about 180 to 200 shows. There are about 1,000 professional artists and many more amateurs. 
Further there are off-season shows during the wet season, the anniversary shows, school and college students Yakshagana and of course the Talamaddale performances. Yakshagana commercial shows witness 12,000 performances per year in Karnataka generating a turnover of Rs. 6 crore. Characters found in Yakshagana Yakshagana related photos Topic See also The Yakshagana Puppets a documentary film Kabuki a visually similar form of Japanese theater equals <laughs> equals notes <laughs>